A Team 10 consumer alert. A San Diego man is out thousands of dollars after trying to rent out a, an extra room. Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance talked to the FBI about a scam that continues to make the rounds online and continues to rip people off. Kristen? This scam is always updating itself. So the victim here is an IT guy who thought he did everything right to protect himself. He did a Google search of the person he was dealing with. He waited a certain number of days for the money order to clear. He's still out thousands, and he's telling his story so you don't end up in the same situation. Gary Schultz thought he found the perfect person to rent the extra bedroom in his spacious San Diego apartment. In all of her emails, she's so compelling. The young woman who answered his Craigslist ad said she was a student living in London, and she wanted to finish her degree in San Diego. I was very careful. I had gone on the internet and checked out her name and address. After checking out her info, he told her to send a check for $2,000. That would cover first and last month's rent. She sent money orders totaling 3000 that extra thousand was for she was shipping her car here and they were going to deliver the car and I was to pay the shipper. Schultz said those money orders looked legit. They had the fraud detection on them. He said the teller at Chase Bank didn't see a problem either. I endorsed them in front of her, gave them to her, they deposited. Schultz waited five days, then wired that extra 1,000 bucks to the car's shipper. That afternoon, he gets a notice the money orders were fake. Stupid me. I went and wired the money on Thursday, and then on Friday I find out that, the, that it wasn't covered. The FBI says Schultz was a victim of overpayment fraud, one of the top five crimes reported in 2011. 18,511 people fell for the same thing that year. Special agents say the same scam keeps ripping people off in new ways. They'll change up the scenarios, but the principles of the scam remain the same, and, this, and the red flags to watch for remain the same. The red flags. Someone contacts you from out of the country. They want to rent or buy something sight unseen. They send you money orders or cashier's checks. And the biggest red flag, they send you more money than you requested. All signs Schultz missed, something the scammers were banking on. I think they should rot in jail, to be honest with you. So the FBI told me what makes this worse. It's next to impossible to track down these scammers because they're overseas. And of course, they are never the people that they say they are. We've seen this scam before, but Gary says he looked up the woman's name and address and everything matched. Yeah, he thought he was doing his homework and, and the person he looked up, she is real. She does exist, but that's not the person who scammed Gary. The FBI told me a lot of scammers now, they use social media, they'll steal someone's identity, mm -hmm. pose as that person, as a real person, and then rip you off. So oh. clearly those red flags you pointed out, you got to make yes. sure those aren't there. And I think people, they want it to be true. It was a great mm -hmm. deal. She would have been a great roommate. So, you know, I think maybe you overlook that. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Sure. Thank you.